Hi, this is Mr. B, and today I'm going to show you in this episode of Unsafe Science how to make a popsicle stick catapult by me. So what you need are 14 craft sticks, or popsicle sticks. I prefer the ones with the notches cut in them. It makes doing a few things with this project a little easier. Hot glue gun with glue, a plastic spoon, two rubber bands, and for making the protractor so you can actually figure out how far back you bend it when you shoot. It allows you to quantify the shots. You also need a paper protractor, a card, a glue stick, and some scissors to put that part of it together. So it takes 14 sticks. Here's what the final version looks like. It's really good at shooting things. Shoots a few meters. Let's start, shall we? So, for starters, what you need are the first pairs. So you need four for, t for starters. Um, what I found is gluing them back to back is sort of challenging in terms of making a sandwich with this glue, because sometimes it comes out onto my fingers and burns. So you really want to work hard to line up the notches as best you can before smushing it together. So there's one pair. Some came out the side. We're going to cut that away later. Try to clear out especially the big grooves because we're going to need those. And then a second pair. Line them up. Smush them down. Okay. These are going to form the uprights here and here. And so at the bottom of these, what we need are the next two. And what will you do is take this large gap right there and you're going to put one here and one here. And they should look like a pair of skis if they fit together correctly. Hmm. It might take a little jiggling to get them in place. So here's the first set. They should mostly hold together on their own. Put that aside. Next. Same thing. This is the vertical. And you put the large notch here with the notch here. Actually, I'm sorry. Put the small notch. Hmm. Okay, so those match. Then, what we need to do is we're going to glue these together. So you make another pair. And we're going to make this stick right here. So first some glue here, two little dots, now one of the doubles goes across there, let it dry a little bit. Same here, dot, dot. Then we're going to put on the front. It's another double. And we'll put this in front. So this 
this lines up here. And both of these support the front bars, which are going to have most of the strain on them. Then here, one more pair together. And these will be the top, right here. Dot, and a dot. And then finally, the back braces. I guess I was wrong about the number I needed. Two more in back. Then put on the rubber bands. One goes there, and that's going, the spoon will go in there like that. They will also conveniently fit into these notches so that they don't go down too far, like that. And then the second one, you will wrap here and here and twist it a few times. Twist it and then make a little gap in the middle between the two strands. And then this goes through there and then the end of it goes in this gap. Finally, if you want to make this part of it, this is the protractor part. You put some glue stick on the back of the protractor. Put a card on it. So you're sort of laminating it to the card. And then cut it out. And the way this is built, this size protractor works almost perfectly for a friction fit to be put into the side portion of the catapult. And then put the angle right here so you can judge the angle that it shoots from. I probably should put two more sticks back here. Put two more here, but I'm actually too short, so I get to take 16 sticks. So good luck, and have fun with your catapult. Oh, one last thing is take and squeeze a line of glue right across the spoon. The purpose of this is that it acts as a sort of holder. If you put a penny or something in it, it doesn't slide down and gives it something to rest on before it gets shot. All right, thank you. Hope this was helpful.